Hello, Leo. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this, Leo. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Leo with a clear and concise message from you. Okay, Leo. Leo. All right, so I don't know if it's you or if it's the other person, so don't shoot the messenger. Um, we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Five of Wands, and then we have the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have some fast action. When you see that many wands in a short spread like this, something's happening quickly, or somebody's trying to do something very quick, very fast, in a short amount of time. It looks like somebody's trying to get someone's attention, uh, trying to hold either their partner's attention or get their partner's attention. Somebody is blocking someone, okay? Um, they could, there was a time when you guys could talk to each other, maybe telepathically, you know, psychically, whatever. Um, somebody's blocking that connection. Somebody's blocking that, that energy. They don't want it. They don't want it any longer. Um, somebody's taking a stance and they're fighting for what they have. And what they have right now is their peace and their peace of mind. They feel like their psychic abilities right now, especially towards the opposite sex, are spot on, 100%. So they already know what's going on with you if you're a man or if you're a woman or you know, the man knows what's going on with you. There's no need. There's no need for a conversation. Even though there's someone vying for a conversation, they're, they're in deep contemplation, thought, about how can I start an argument, a conversation, some drama to get this person's attention. Because the Five of Wands talks about fighting for what you want. And right now what we see is what somebody wants right now is attention. There's a saying, if I can just keep them talking, then I got them. So somebody wants to keep you talking, Leo, or vice versa. I don't know, cross watcher, please don't shoot me. Somebody wants to at least be able to have the opportunity to converse with you as we have the conversation card come up. See that? Focus, focus. Okay. Yeah, someone wants a conversation. In that conversation, there'll be validation. Somebody's just going to validate what the other person was already psychically in tune to. You just want to come and disturb my peace. You want to come and um, this card talks about it's a Leo card and so it's the five of wands. It talks about a destructive influence. You always get this card in your readings, Leo. Somebody wants to come in and destruct. When you de anything, you are you are taking away. If you make a decision, you're cutting away. You, so somebody wants to take away, cut away what someone has already constructed for themselves. And what they have constructed is peace, tranquility, serenity. They've taken their position and they just don't want to be bothered right now. So somebody wants to come in and just kind of like, like a, like a, a bulldozer, like a wrecking ball, just destruct what the other person is doing. Someone is uncaring to the fact that other people's emotions, opinions, needs are at play too, that they need to take into consideration other people's emotions, their needs, um, and their desires. The Knight of Swords here, somebody really just wants to come in and argue their position, their point. Listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying. Someone wants to intellectualize their position. This is a knight who will do verbal battle. I mean, they want to just go and go 
and try to shift your focus, shift your mindset, shift your position. This is also, this card comes up when somebody knows that they're losing the other person. So they have to do something big, something monumental. They have to show up big. But we also have frivolity. So somebody wants to come in with a frivolous conversation, frivolous gestures. It means nothing. It's irregular. It's it's changing. They're fickle. They're hot and they're cold. Tomorrow it'll be something else. Somebody wants forgiveness, but they can't even go about getting it in the right way because their their mind is scattered. This is a scattered brain individual who likes to keep up drama and frustration who needs to grow up this is ridiculous someone is saying oh I'm, I'm healing from my upbringing this is how I was brought up with so much drama and discord and dysfunction and uh, fighting and just hoopla just anything The world doesn't owe you understanding, so I've heard. We get it. We get it. You're healing from your upbringing, but no one owes you understanding. There's someone here saying, look, look, I give you money. That should be enough. Why do I have to change? Why do I have to grow up? Why do I have to be better? This is also maybe somebody withdrawing themselves from a, from a relationship, a maybe a sex-only relationship, or a relationship that was just a love affair. It didn't have a real title because somebody is already married. We've got wife and we got the emperor. Someone has unresolved issues in their marriage. So they thought, you know what I'll do instead of resolve the issues with my marriage partner, I'll just go and find somebody else. This is a, a very uncaring person. This is someone who's focused on themselves. This is someone who's focused on their needs, their wants, their desires. And it could be you, Leo. I'm sorry, because you have a lot of Leo cards and then we pull this card. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon and Leo. This card specifically talks about um, everyone is equally important. It says, uh, you know, if you have not been um, living by that, do unto people as you would like done unto you, then you might need to find some balance because, you know, your needs are, are important and other people's needs around you are important too. It's like somebody just wants to exert themselves on the other or dominate themselves or domi dominate the other person or dominate the relationship and just do what I want and have what, you know, it's just, it's absolutely crazy. We know that you, the, the, um, we know that you're alpha and that you are the, uh, king of the jungle. But this is, um, I don't think this is a way to go about getting what it is you want. Someone could literally have mental issues here, and th these are undiagnosed. Self esteem is good to have, but vanity is not. There could be a friendship, we'll call it a friendship, a friends with benefits situation. It's ending. This is, this is why somebody is so riled up. They don't know what to do. They may even go as far as to say, I love you. But I can't choose. This can be a husband and a wife type of situation where there has been several infidelity I don't see the relationship being over. Someone's just saying, forgive me. Um, I'm going to do better. You know, I cheated in the past, but I am faithfully yours now. 
And if you are on the outskirt of a relationship or a marriage, you might be the one walking away or this Leo walked away from you. It could be a temporary pause. You guys could start back up again if you want that. But somebody could be very, very sure that they do not want this and that it's over. Again, we have another card that talks about something being over. Full Moon in Pisces. Pisces is the last zodiac sign. So this is the last ditch effort, the last chance, the last straw, the last time for someone because um, they, they understand that uh, they're not going to get what they want here. Um, and somebody is super emotional, but they're not being super realistic. And maybe this is how maybe that person on the outside felt like I'm allowing this person to be in my life. I'm not being realistic about what they can offer me. They can't offer me anything more than the Seven of Wands. So this is uh, your reading, Leo. I hope that it resonated for you. You got a bit of clarity. If it did, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. Is this person cheated on me? Should I stay? Should I go? Are they going to continue to nag me, bug me? Should I block them? I don't know. Ask those questions to the tarot cards. Text your question. Pay for your question. And receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you. Take care.